Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Signalis. Last time we left off, we got a bunch of keys and stuff. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave that in the box for now. Uh, so what I wanna do is go up to floor six, I think. Yeah, and I wanna hit that repair bay, I believe. Uh, there's also the workshop down there. Um, I do have the key for that, but my inventory is kind of full at the moment. Maybe, maybe I should grab the workshop key since I'm going to that floor anyway. Hmm. What would I put away though? I need the flashlight. The repair spray might very well be needed. I'll put the repair spray away and we'll grab the key. At least the key gets used up after I, you know, use it. So, that's good. Alrighty, so... We're going down, hitting the lift, up, and then hitting the workshop. Okay, so down, up, workshop is to the right. So let's hope we don't run into any nasties. You two staying down, thank you very much. Okay, so we're going up, and then we move right here. Hey, get in the stupid door. Get in the door. My god. I hate it when you do that character. When you're like, I'm not gonna do what what you want me to do. Huh. Sometimes it's just a problem. Okay, and now I'm very hurt and they're right outside. If I could find a healing item in here, that would be dope. But I don't think I'm gonna. Replica known issues part two. Okay, previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities in their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Okay, due to the sensitive nature of this information, this document should be destroyed after reading. Mm -hmm. Star, despite their normally laid-back demeanor, stars have a strong internal hierarchy, which is important to take into consideration when promoting units to officers. Not promoting a respected unit or promoting a unit loan status can lead to friction within dorms. Stars will occasionally develop in-group rules involving physical punishments. It's recommended to allow some officers to own military weapons as fetish objects to stabilize their persona. My god. They will develop in-group rules involving physical punishments, and if you promote someone that they don't feel is worth it or is qualified, then they'll get pissed. And Storch, these are the highest level security ones. Storch units initially have a short temper. Training them in patience early after deployment is key, as their neural pattern is less stable than other models. Failing to do so may yield an extremely volatile personality prone to cruelty and violence. A common strategy is pairing them closely with an older star unit. Storch's persona stabilizes by showering or bathing. Books on history or mythology work well as fetish objects. Yeah, and if we look here, yeah, the Storch were the combat lead unit. Um, yeah, each is overseen by a controller unit, the most common of which is the Stork. Uh-huh. Cool. Alrighty, so... I was really hoping that was gonna be a healing item. I just need, like, a baby healing item, like a repair patch, even. I think this is the thing that repairs the tape. So I think coming over here wasn't even really... Yeah, this is- this is what repairs the tape. Okay, so I need the tape. Um... Okay, well I'm definitely dying as soon as I leave this room. Like, we're totally dead. As soon as I step foot out here. Or not? Or not. Um... Shoot! Why are you- What is happening here? Okay, that was weird. Oh my god, okay, and then I got stuck on, like, the pillar. That hallway is just bad. Um, so I was trying to shoot that character, but my, my, my character, I swear my character wasn't looking the right direction. And it was giving me some problems. Maybe I should take some better things down there. Uh, possibly some stun batons, because those enemies are just kind of annoying to deal with at the moment. So let's go back to the piano room. I can grab all of that stuff again. Um, and plus now we know what we need down there, so... Um... I will take the repair spray in case things get hairy again. Um, we will take... The... Workshop key, the cassette... And I think I'm gonna put the pistol and the pistol ammo away. 
Um, I'm gonna take the shotgun and some stun prods. Maybe. I could just take the stun prods, I guess. Um, also, let's see, how much HP do we have? Yeah, we're in like the yellow. What if I just took some like repair patches now? I did take a fair few hits when I was when I was uh, dying there, so I think we can just take like a repair patch and be good. So I got stun prod, shotgun, workshop key, cassette. Um, I put my flashlight away, which is no good because I do need that. Alrighty, um, we're going to be murdering. We are. That doesn't need to be equipped yet. Let's make sure we equip our gun. Would be embarrassing to just walk up without our gun. Okay, let's give that another shot. Um, that was a information gathering trip. Information gathering trip, that's what I'm choosing to call it. So, you're gonna be annoying. Uh-huh. Die. There we go. Turn around. Oh, you charged me. You bastard. Okay, the shot, I'll take it. That's... that's fine. We can... we can work with that. I thought I was gonna be able to run away, but that thing charged me. It managed to catch me. Okay, well, whatever. Get in here. Hopefully they stay down long enough for me to take care of these things I need to take care of. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. Give me that. And here I can put... the tape in. Need to fix the torn tape inside the cassette before I can play- Oh, this is where you play it! Okay. I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't know how repairing a tape works. I assume this was some magical tape repairing machine. <laughs> Cassette tapes, like, my dad had them, but it's a little bit before my time. Like... You know... My, my dad had ta had cassette tapes, but... It, CDs were kind of more the norm by the point. Yeah, so how are we gonna repair the actual tape inside? Did you just... Do you just tape it? <laughs> okay, so that's that's what this is. Never mind. So we we don't we don't do that yet. So that's where I bring it when I'm ready to play it. Actually. Alrighty. Well, um, let's go down and back through here. Please don't get up. Please don't get up. Please don't get up. Thank you. Um, I just want to drop some things off. We are clutching our side a little bit here. Okay, that was a fine trip, I think. I will take that. The... Honestly, we might need, we might need those stun prods. Um, shotgun... Can go away. The cassette can go away for now. Oh, maybe I should bring it with me just in case I can repair it. Uh, put the pistol ammo away, the shotgun away. Give me this and some ammo. Um... And reload. There we go. Okay. Um, now the pistol ammo can go. We have a flashlight. We have stun prods. Um, I think I might be... How hurt am I? I'm in... Orange. Maybe we just use one of the good ones here. Maybe, just maybe. Let's use one of the good ones. There we go. Alrighty, so we got these three spaces here. Now, what would I want to bring with me, if anything? The hunter's key, the cassette. Yeah, we really, we basically just need to do reconnaissance here. I mean... Let's see, let's look at the map. Like, what actually is that room? Whoops. Oh. The... The repair bay. Okay, so that's probably where I gotta take the cassette. Right? Repair bay. I already made myself look like a dummy this episode, because I didn't know how to repair cassette tape. But <laughs> I don't- I don't know- I don't know how that would work. Like, can you just, like, kind of tape it together and that works? I- I would assume that would mess it up in some way. Um... Yeah. Guess I'm- guess I'm showing how young I am by not knowing what a cassette- uh, how you repair cassette tapes. I know what a cassette tape is. Um, alright, so... Let's see, it was... 
up, right? Yeah, it's up. So we are going up. Stay down, please. They are staying down. Good, good, good. Okay, and this is where things get... No, the cleaning room is where things get bad. Um, the hallway might be good? The hallway is good. The cleaning room in here is where things get bad. I have my stun batons, though. My stun prods. Um... Okay, I actually think we're fine. Um, I can go ahead, equip the flashlight, and just run in here. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, and now we can turn it on. Oh god, hi. Uh-uh. No. Bad. Okay. It does suck when I get flipped turned upside down. Um, and things start beating me up. That always feels bad. That might be part because I'm using mouse and... Oh my god! These things. Okay. Keep that in mind, I suppose. Ammo. No space. There's the tape I need. There's the tape I need. But my inventory's full. Yike. Um, we filled up quick. Weapon case? In the world is in that? Okay. So I'm gonna need to... get out of here again. Yeah, that thing just pops out on the timer, it seems. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. There's nothing to see here. Believe me. Alright, let's go this way. I'm gonna keep taking this hallway. I should maybe thermite these two bodies. Because they're quite annoying. Oh, you can squeeze through right here. Oh, that's the problem that I was running to. I was trying to go this way before. That's why I got stuck on that, like, pillar. I was trying to go through that end. Um... So we are going down. Yeah, I might thermite those two bodies. Okay, you're back up. Because of course you are. Uh-uh. Nope. Nope. Bad. Stay down, damn you. Ooh, I did not want to go into this room. I did not mean to click on that door. I was more so just clicking. Okay. Yeah, things are getting bad. Things are getting real bad. I mean, this one was a good call, burning that one. The other ones are a little bit rougher to deal with. It's mostly just the inventory situation that's a problem. Hmm. Okay, we still got the flashlight. Um, the auto ejector can go. Um, now what do we want to do here? Three auto injectors. I could bring two thermite and burn those two bodies. I think I'm gonna do that actually. We're gonna get we're gonna get rid of two of those, and that'll free up a slot when I do that. Um, so draw the pistol ammo back out so I can reload this. Wonderful. And, okay, so we have, well, I don't actually need the cassette yet. I imagine the tape is going to fix the cassette, so we can leave that here. The thermite's good. The stun prods, honestly, put those away as well. I just need the pistol, the thermite, and the flashlight, I believe. And that way I can pick up a ton of stuff when I'm, uh, when I'm over there. Okay, we're gonna hit the save again. So much running back and forth. So, so much. But this is dangerous. Alrighty. So, back out here. I'm not using the thermite on these two bodies, because these are the, like, baby ones. They're not as spooky as the ones up here. The ones up here are the real spooky ones. Okay, so... I need to equip the thermite and use the thermite. Beautiful. And I need to use the thermite. There we go. Okay, we don't have to worry about them anymore. They're, uh, they're proper dead. Good. Because that, that hallway is a bit tricky. I don't like that hallway. So, going in here, my flashlight is off, yeah? 
Yeah, it's not equipped, but there we go. Okay. You don't see... Wow, how are you not hearing me run? Weird. I thought you would have heard me run. Um, okay, use. And we need to move. Because the stork's going to come spawning in in a second here. It seems like you're kind of on a... Yeah, you spawned in like right as soon as I was leaving there. Okay, shotgun rounds. Um, adhesive tape. And a weapon case. So... What's this? A secure storage box for pistol... Oh, the hunter thing. Yeah, the hunter key is for a padlock. So that's what that goes to. Do I get anything for shooting this? I don't know. I was like, what if I got rewarded if I successfully did the little shooting range here? No, it didn't, it didn't do anything, though. So I don't, I don't think anything's going to happen there. All right, let's leave. So I shouldn't need to come back over here. Um, that's everything I needed, basically. Um, we got to turn the flashlight off. Or just unequip it. There we go. Get out of there. Uh-huh. You heard me that time. Get me through there. Good. All right, all right, all right. So. Yeah, and it would have been really shitty if I had come back and you two were up, so. Um, I mean, this wasn't the best hallway to clear out, because there's, there's not a whole lot here. But I really didn't want to... Oh, oh, well, no, we do have to come back to the radio transmitter. So, yeah, yeah, to, to get back to the radio transmitter, so that was a good call. Because I don't have to worry about them now, and I'm not going to have to worry about them then, either. So, is this other one going to get up now? I'm guessing. No, you're still down. Okay. Not going to hear any complaints from me. Okay. We are back. Um, flashlights. So let's go ahead and get out the... Let's put the shotgun rounds away. And let's get out the hunter's key and the cassette. Because I can use tape. Or, or not, not, combine tape with cassette. There we go. So you can't just tape cassettes to fix them. Wild. Wild. Like I said, slightly before my time, there's the revolver. And it's got an achievement. Short barreled double action six shot revolver that fires 12 millimeter high power ammo, ammo, high recoil, strong knockback. Yep, that's our magnum. All right, we got, we got the boss killer. The boss killer has been acquired. Um, this cassette needs to go back down to that room. Let's grab... Can I reload it from this? I can't. I do have to actually remove some pistol ammo and uh, reload. There we go. Okay. Good stuff. So, anything else I need? I hear my cat crying outside the room. Sorry, buddy. Dad's recording. Okay, let's hit that save again. Whew, stressful. Um, we're doing it, however. So, down and back to the looping lift. Once again, hopefully the dorks in this hallway do not get back up. That one's the bad one. Okay, yeah, because I've killed you recently. So, uh, we're going up. We're hitting this. I did... Yeah, I just wanted to make sure I brought it. Yeah, these these pillars screwed me last time. My god. That was painful. Okay. Um, use. Use music cassette? Yes. There we go. Play? Oh, and it's one... Okay, one... Okay, that's what it is. So I tune one to 142 when I'm in front of... The Falk. So 142 is what I got to tune to, because there's nothing else. Small broadcasting, radio broadcasting unit. It's set up to broadcast the tapes, dex, input signal on frequency 142. Yeah. I was like, I haven't clicked on anything here yet, but it'll probably explain it. So I don't have to click play or anything. It's already broadcasting. Cool. Okay. So what do we got over here? Are these motherboards? Graphics cards, maybe? Just, just some, just some generic chips. 
Okay. Uh, get me out, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, now. So we need to go... To... Falk. Which is down there. Okay, so luckily we're, we're right. We're right where we need to be. Um, so let's go... Uh, down one. These dorks might get up. I would like to run back. I mean, I guess I don't really have anything to drop off. Hopefully nothing bad happens to me when I grab that thing. Okay. And here... Yep, we can just circumvent you. And then run in here. Oh yeah, those dorks pop out of this room. Whoopsie, forgot about that. Okay, and it's 142 that I gotta tune my radio uh, to here, so... Uh, 142, if you would so kindly. Boop, 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 boop. And a little bit more. Beautiful, beautiful owl music. There we go. Got it. Give me whatever's in the canister. That is a hummingbird key. A hummingbird key, huh? Magnetic key card with a hummingbird motif for the East Suite on the 8th floor. Interesting. So let's turn that off now. 8th floor, you say? Let's, let's check that out. So... That is... Let's see, that's Mineshaft back. Uh, that's the ADLR bedroom. Yeah, so it's, it must be that. Alright. For the East Suite on the 8th floor. Yeah, it has to be that room. Because, yeah, I mean, that's the only thing to the East. So, maybe we try and get over there right now? It'd be really cool if you had, like, a checkpoint or something for me that would be what would be really really cool that thing popped out just a little bit too late friend okay so we could go um let's see where's my best bet so there's the save room yeah i can't take the lift all the way up there so I should still go to the piano room if I want to hit a save really quickly. I mean, we could progress through here a little bit, I think. Yeah, and that's the library key. All right, now what nightmare stuff is in the east hallway here? I think there's like two enemies waiting here. Yes, there is. You didn't see me though, good. Hummingbird key has been used. Alrighty. What do we got in here? Replica known issues part one. Okay. Um, yep. Previous experience with these replica models has given us insight into irregularities and their behavior that stem from the original neural patterns used for these units. Due to the sensitive nature of this information, the document should be destroyed after reading. We say that for all of them, but... Yules tend to form large groups and like to sing and dance, as the original neural pattern for this unit was a ballet dancer. Yeah, this is this is interesting because it's the idea that we're basically mass producing um one type of a human into like you know, like robots and stuff. We're using their neural pattern. So it's a bunch of a couple of people, or a few people rather, um, just clones of them. Persona degradation can be easily prevented in this unit by making sure they have access to music through tape players or musical instruments. Always place at least one mirror in Yule dorms as they have a strong urge to check their own appearance at regular intervals. Yule's persona stabilizes by keeping a tidy appearance and through regular social interactions. Yule's will often organize in groups of roughly 10 units and give each other themed nicknames. Error. Even though they may seem like quiet simpletons, do not underestimate Aras. While they may not show it, they judge those who are rude or unkind harshly and will quietly share this judgment with their entire catter. Aras get along best with Yules, who tend to be patient and friendly and have a talent for reading Aras' expressionless faces. 
Many instances, Aras will construct service tunnels accessible only to them, often under floors and then walls. Unstable units may retreat into these tunnels. It is not recommended to attempt to retrieve them. That's horrifying. So, okay, so yeah, that that's the, the things that come out of the floor. Those are Aras, specifically. I mean, the ones that have the big legs, it's been pretty easy to notice who those were. Um... You know, because they have giant legs, but yeah, so the ones that are climbing in floors and stuff, those are the Aras. Cool. And yeah, maybe... I, it's it's harder to tell with some of the other ones. Obviously the big leg ones are obvious, and this is now obvious, but... Ara percenters can be stabilized by allowing them access to plants to take care of. Ideally, colorful flowers or trees. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alrighty, hello. KLBR? Col uh, Colibri, yeah, we heard about this. So, the Commando Control Unit Bioresonance Technology Replica Hummingbird. Generation 6 High Tech Bioresonance Specialist. Biomechanical with shell, bullet resistant armor plating. Marvel of Modern Technology. The Colibri is the most capable bioresonance unit ever produced, so, even better than Falks. Every protector Furung's Commando's Falk's, Falk unit is aided by a catter of KLBR unit adjutants, which can amplify her bioresonance signals as well as produce their own. Despite their diminutive build, Colibri's are one of the most effective protector units. Okay, so yeah, they're the most capable bioresonance unit. Falk can also use it, and they actually enhance Falk's ability. Able to directly influence the minds of replicas and gestalts, extract information non-verbally, and communicate among themselves instantly in the full bandwidth of senses. The colorized bioresonance is the closest recreation of a true hive mind. Ooh, they're like a hive mind. Interesting. And they can extract information non-verbally and communicate themselves, yeah, the full bandwidth of senses. Cool. Well, that's powerful to have a collection of hive mind psychics. Uh, the Eagle Key. Okay, and we will be examining that in a second. Ooh, I, I didn't even factor in that there could be another door here. That's kind of amazing, actually. A stun prod. Calibri's note. Keep an eye on Adler. He's hiding something from us. There was nothing in his diary, but when I probed his mind, there were memories of an LSTR unit working at Sierpinski. There's no record of that model of replica ever being deployed here. An order for a single unit for some survey work in the mine was briefly considered, but no new orders were made due to the commander's sickness. He's hiding something from us. There's nothing in his diary, but I probed his mind. There were memories of a unit. Okay. No record of that model ever being deployed here. Uh-huh, yeah, and the, the people have been suspicious of Adler, and Adler's also the one that pushed us down the mineshaft, so... Which unit was the LSTR? Have we gotten one about that? KLBR, STCR, ADLR, EU, FK, ARR, STAR... No, I don't think we've gotten one about that. Let's, uh... Yeah, what, what, so what, which one was it again? Whoops, not that. Um, this, the note. LSTR. Now, yeah. Patient EULR. Patient complained about severe nausea and headaches. Yeah. This is just one of those. I'm trying to remember, which one am I? Let's see. Welcome to the Serpinski LSTR features. Yes. Saving our great nation ship technicians aboard the scout vessels of the Pinterest program. LSTR type replicas like yourself. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that's what we're, we're in LSTR. So we're the one that's mentioned in the note here. 
Yeah, there were there were memories of a unit working at Serpinski. There's no record of that model of replica ever being deployed here. Okay. Okay, so we're uh, we're a bit of an enigma. Cool. So what's in here? Bad is in here. Bad is in here. Okay, thank you for that. Well, you screwed up my thingy again, so... Um... Now, we learned about how to deal with them, right? Or was it? Uh, yeah, in the management office. Calibri just hold herself in the management office on the seventh floor. I've seen her in the illusion sitting inside the room crying. Which one's the real one? I think it's because of that painting in there. Whenever I was close to her, I felt like my mind was being assaulted. Maybe some sort of feedback loop of the frequency of her control signal. So let's do that. So... 98. So... Let's go to this and play... switch it to 98. Uh-huh. This is beautiful sounding. Yeah? Is it you? Are you the real one? Yes, you are. Okay. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. So that helps you figure out which one is the real one. Before, I just kind of fired and got lucky and killed the correct one. Um, I'm gonna forget my inventory by using that right now. Um, so cool, we're in blue now. Fantastic, that's where I want to be. Okay. So, I need to turn on my light. And I need to equip my light. Okay, yeah, that wasn't so bad. And yeah, now we've figured out the secret for dealing with them. I didn't have that note the last time I was messing with those, or I at least didn't know what I was actually dealing with. But this time, I did. The post box key, would you look at that? Give me some more 9mm ammo. Okay, I think that's everything in here. Okay, so we got the post box key. And you're talking about the paintings. So the yeah, the island painting we saw in the other room, there's also some paintings in here with you. When they start throwing those enemies in a room that actually have other more dangerous enemies in with them, that's gonna be terrifying. Okay, we gotta turn off the flashlight now. And I gotta get back to a checkpoint. Now, what I could do is leave through here Go through the east hallway, hit the north hallway, go up the stairs here. Hit the post box, and then hit the maintenance office. Dare I try? Let's find out. Um, I do have a single stun prod I could use. Um, let's get it out just in case here. Okay, so let's sneak past you. No need to worry about me. Okay, they, they saw me. Alright. Now, I'm pretty sure there was something pretty scary in here. Yeah, these two. Uh-huh. Sneak, 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 sneak. Go, 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 go. Alright, we're good. Now, yeah, and that's the... That, that room's dark. It's a bedroom, though. An ADLR bedroom, and it has a locked door in it. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Up the stairs. So, and then do we go up one more time? We go up one more time. And I can hit the post box with this key. Go ahead and get rid of that. Yes, use the post box key. What you got for me? The library. I love the library. Okay. Okay, I'm I'm very very happy with our uh, our progress this episode. Things Things were starting out a little slow as I was dealing with those enemies, but stuff really started moving at a breakneck pace once we kind of got going there. Okay, so we have the library key now. I'll leave that in my inventory. I also have the eagle key. Magnetic key card with an eagle motif. Yeah, I remember seeing a door with an eagle. It doesn't tell me which one that is at. Let's get rid of that. Um, I don't even know if I need the flashlight in my inventory anymore. Yeah, where was that eagle door? 
Uh, well, it's not six. Six is pretty much cleared out at this point. I don't think there's anything left for me to do on six. Um, all the doors here are unlocked, so we are pretty much good there. So it has to be, there's the library. Was that the eagle door? I think that's the eagle door. Right there. So, yeah, I can access everything I care about pretty easily from this particular point, so. Whew. Okay. Progress has been made. Good. So, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Signalis, and I'll see you next time for some more.